Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a nature read that's timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so yeah, that's Brian in the background, scratching away you know, after the nature walk. Anyhow, big change from how it was the other day. Nice and sunny, very kind of cool and breezy out there, but it was, it was nice. So this is a timeless nature read. When you watch it is when it's meant for you. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are back <laughs> to the table, right? So <clears throat> I did want to remind you guys that this is a general reading, right? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, don't try to manifest anything crazy into your life. If it's not happening that way, don't imagine that it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. These are the cards that I'm using today, okay? So yes, now we'll get started. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get the general energy. And the reading for the general collective for the nature read. Yeah. General energy for this timeless nature read is... <clears throat> Almost grabbed two. Ooh, dang it, we got the ten of swords, you guys. What the heck is going on? Some backstabbing energy? Somebody doing some shit behind our backs? That ain't cool. It's not cool at all. Let's go ahead and see what comes out. The truth will come out, right? <clears throat> the truth will come out. Well, for somebody anyways, right? First, we have the Five of Pentacles, somebody feeling left out in the cold, loss of money, right? Loss of material items. And then we have the Five of Rods in the reverse, not willing to uh, fight anymore, not going any through, through any type of mental uh, anguish, personal mental fighting, right? Fighting with oneself in their own mind, right? No longer doing that. But still feeling left out in the cold. Somebody lost some. There was a loss here. That's where the deception comes in too with that ten of swords. There was a loss here. Somebody lost money. But at least they're not having to deal with this mental torture or this fighting any longer. Right? Now they are headed towards <laughs> nine of pentacles. Right? They're single. Right? Now they are heading towards somebody like that, or that's what they are now. Finally, getting over this backstabbing energy. You know, they were in something they really didn't want to be in. Maybe they were, um, what do you call it, manipulated into doing something that they didn't want to do, but they had to, or they felt they did. <clears throat> They're headed towards something new, something, something. <laughs> Look at that thing, Ace of Rods. <laughs> They're headed towards the rod. No, they're headed towards uh, something, you know, passionately, that's for sure, right? <laughs> Anyhow, you know, they did have to lose some money, lose, have some losses here. They had to cut some things loose, cut it, cut it, and call it a loss, right? But like I said, no more fighting, no more mental anguish, no more tripping out, right? Nine of Rods, right? Yeah, they've been through best. Somebody here went through some sort of battle. Somebody went through some sort of battle. There was money involved. They lost a lot, but like I said, no more fighting, no more arguing, at least. I'd rather lose the arguing and fighting myself. We've got the Six of Rods, right? But somebody did have victory, right? They're single now. That might be the victory there, being single. Like, at what, at what cost? Who cares? I'm single now right 
uh, because something came to an end. <clears throat> so now they're single and they have new passions. Somebody here has some new passions. All right. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else we got going on here. We have the six of blades in the reverse. Um, they're unable to, they were unable to leave a toxic situation at the present time though, right? They're kind of staying where they're at. Um, let's see, what is this? They're not going to heal the situation. So maybe somebody is trying to get them to not leave and to try to heal a situation, but they, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. It's over. They're not trying to heal it. They're not, they're not trying to do that. They don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not trying, they're not trying to do that. Not after that backstabbing. You screwed up, right? Yeah, it's, just, it's like that kind of energy. You messed up already. eight of blades so somebody may have even had to go to jail or something over this maybe they had to go to jail or they got caught up in some sort of something but look they're hanging on to something though they're hanging on to they're trying to hang on to their money whatever right but they're in hangman mode for sure somebody may be in jail somebody may have had to go go to jail that's what the deception was somebody got away with something Something that involved uh, multitasking, juggling, and uh, the marriage. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody is waiting uh, for karma to, to happen. Yep. Somebody is waiting for karma to really get back at someone, right? I've got these Kepper cards. Let's see what flies out for this story for these Kepper cards, right? What? Uh, let me get three cards just to see... What's involved in this story here? Let me get three cards. Look, first one. Okay, the community. All right, so there's so a lot of people may be involved. This could be like people in your circle, in your family, your friends, somebody like that. There was there was some uh, there was a loss, financial loss. Somebody somebody ripped somebody off. I think somebody ripped somebody off or wasn't honest or something that has to do with the fa the community you know and the family something like that <clears throat> distant horizons somebody may actually be trying to communicate with somebody at the distant horizons oh i see here some something as it has ended and the community is now realizing this, that something has ended. There's been an end to a situation, or maybe there was, has been a passing of somebody, right? But somebody, uh, you know, from all of this, somebody is thinking about somebody else in the distant horizons, though, okay? Look, <clears throat> 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 reduces down to... Uh, three. So we have three, all right? We have the Ascended Master Protection, okay? 36 turns out to be nine. Almost coming too close to an end of a cycle, right? Nine and ten, or one and nine is ten. An end of a cycle has begun. So this should actually be like this. Yeah. <clears throat> so basically what's happened is something has come to an end of a cycle, involving a community right ending of friendship it could even be the passing of somebody i hate to say that but it could be if so my condolences but um uh, there's an ending of something that has to do with this community and somebody is going to be headed towards the distant horizons somewhere so that somebody's at a distance right yeah so <clears throat> i'm just gonna get these out real quick Let's try to find out, let's try to find out where is, what's in the distant horizons, right? Let's try to find out that. What's in the distant horizons, okay? I'm going to keep that energy card there because that was the energy, all right? What's in the distant horizons for the general collective? 
what's in the distant horizons? What's in the distant horizons? What's in the distant horizons? In the distant horizons. Woo! What's in the distant horizons? What's in the distant horizons? What's in the distant horizons? All right, I feel good right there. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> so now we're trying to find out here where what's in the distant horizons, right? Okay, King of Swords. Okay, in the distant horizons, what's in the distant horizons? Tell us about this story now of the King of Swords in the distant horizons. Something may have come to an end or somebody is really tired of a situation. We've got the Six of Rods. There's no uh, victory in this situation in the distant horizons. Okay, this is what's in the distant horizons. What else? Somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck, right? We got the King of Blades and the King of Rods here. Two people already feeling stuck. We got the Knight of Coins because of some money situation. Somebody, okay. This could be a family situation here. <clears throat> or it could be a same-sex uh, situation. But it doesn't have to be, right? It could be two females. It can be two males. It can be a male and a female. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But uh, we got two people here, okay? We got two people here. A situation has ended with them, okay? There's a, maybe there has been, uh, you know, a death, okay? And um, they're waiting for some money. So they could be waiting for some, some inheritance money to come in from the death of uh, somebody here. There was no victory, right? There was no victory in that uh, in regards to this person who's made. I think this is that's what this is. There's there's some fights over uh, inheritance. Uh, eighth, eight, the strength card, right? <clears throat> uh, and somebody's trying to be strong through this, right? They're kind of stuck. They don't even know what to do here. Somebody may be shocked over this this passing, even, right? Maybe they don't even really care about the inheritance maybe they're just so kind of tra traumatized by the passing um yeah somebody has lost balance from this then patience all right what else do we have here Yeah, uh, they don't want to work on this anymore. They don't want to deal with it. So whatever's going on here, it's almost like they're losing hope in it. They don't want to deal with it anymore. They're so sick and tired of it. Uh, they just want it to end. I, I think somebody here is wanting whatever is going on here. They're, they're, they might have the strength to say, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I'm done. I'm done with the situation. And I don't care about the money or, or something. I don't know, something like that. <clears throat> somebody may be trying to hold somebody up as a, a tactic to keep them back from moving forward to do something also that's what that backstabbing energy could also be okay Ooh. justice but somebody's going to have justice look somebody's going to have justice here and then we have the look i told you something came to an end something came to an end um somebody it was waiting for um Yup, yup, somebody was waiting for money, but they're going to end up being left out in the cold in regards to this money. Okay? Holy shit. This story, I'll tell you what. Um, let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead and, and find out some more. Okay, let's find out, let's find out why, uh, what is this money from? Why, why are they going to be left out in the cold? What's, you know... What is somebody tired of? What is somebody tired of? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation, right? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? You know, besides that backstabbing, of course, right? <clears throat> yeah. What is somebody tired of in regards to the situation? 
What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? One, two, three. Whoa. What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? What is somebody tired of? What is somebody tired of in regards to this situation? Okay, let's get these up. <clears throat> so, okay, whoops. So basically, um, sorry, <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles, right? So somebody uh, is definitely holding on to something, right? But they are tired of a situation, right? We got the two of cups here. They're tired of a uh, being in a relationship or some sort of energy that they were in um, that has to do with some sort of lies or deception, right? Uh, page of coins. Uh, they're not willing to uh, give this gift of some sort that has to do with this secret, right? The secret is, is somebody has emotions uh, they're not letting uh, anybody know about. They're guarding their emotions. This is the secret. And they're not wanting to uh, share any of that secret, right? That secret could involve a queen of pentacles. And uh, this is a person that they are wanting to um, make swift movement towards, right? To, to speak about creating some sort of stability right and this person is holding this a secret all right yeah uh, and this is right now the passion to do that that is not really it's not a good idea all right uh and, and you know what i'm going to agree with uh the universe on this message because look this card fell out next towards the moon card all right we're coming towards the new moon all right so and this uh ace of rods is in the reverse i don't usually see it in the reverse i'm going to tell you that much but it is here so that's my uh to me that is a, a synchronicity or a message a code message from spirit do not make any moves until after this new moon cycle is over possibly the retrograde okay it's only it's only until november 3rd you can wait you can hold off on this Whatever urge you have to do, you're, you're having now to, you know, do whatever, don't do it. Wait until after the retrograde. I'm telling you, it's going to be a better idea for you. It's only a few days, so you can do it. You know, it's really not a big deal, okay? <clears throat> what else do we have going on here? What else is going on with this situation real quick here now? Okay, so Knight of Blades, Knight of Swords. So they're, okay, so possibly after, you know, the retrograde over and ready, ready to do all this, right? This, uh, some some truth is going to come in uh, about the, tw the the queen above. Um, dang, I can't, I can't, can't even talk. And it's, I'm not going to blame the retrograde. It's just because, you know, it's, it's hard when, when these are not picture cards. I'm trying to think and speak and it's just, okay, just give me, just let me... <laughs> you guys just chill out <laughs> all right so somebody is not letting go of this queen of coins right and there's going to be truth that comes out about this individual right um somebody wants to create some sort of stability right and there is emotion here but they're not expressing it they're not no no emotions have been um formally expressed Right, and the reason why somebody is wanting to make this move is because they know that this is their soulmate, and they're very passionate. But like I said, it's in the reverse. Don't do it. Wait, wait. Okay, wait a couple days. Don't be too hasty. You know, I'm just you know. <clears throat> don't make any, any any rash decisions right now because during this time there may be some issues there may be some problems all right so let me just get a final card here i just want to see what else is going on here give me another final card 
what is this yeah yeah oh look so we also have the page of cups so there could either be a child involved here or somebody who is going to make a small gesture of love right uh, or some sort of emotions right somebody may feel as if somebody is their world or that this is an ending to a cycle that might be happening too and that's what that truth may be to this queen of coins that somebody has definitely been holding on to is that i you know somebody is maybe apologizing and, and telling somebody how they feel about them and, and possibly ending this cycle with a soulmate because you know you can still be in this soulmate journey and all that but if you have a partner that's married and they're happy you got to leave that you got to leave it alone right you shouldn't even be interfering in that if that's there now if you didn't know in the first place that's not your fault you're not going to receive any bad karma for that at all okay you're in the safe zone because you didn't know right but this other person i you know i can say i and i can't say much for them you know maybe that's why they're going to come back and speak their truth because they know about the karma that they're going to have to endure right because coming back and saying sorry ain't that that ain't all of the karma you know that, that's not like okay you're okay now there's some other things that this person will have to go through <clears throat> oh, we got the three of rods at the bottom the chariot so somebody is, is is waiting to make the right move to work things out with another individual uh because you know they just can't sleep at night this, this might this is where this might be coming in here the truth coming in because somebody can't sleep they're feeling the guilt they want to work things out right king of cups they want to express maybe their emotions of some sort to a single lady they want to have longevity well you know you guys so somebody wants to get together right maybe they're going to come to tell you that they have put, brought an end of a cycle to uh with a you know soulmate because karmic partners are also soulmates okay i'm gonna add that in you know without those karmics our true loves and our soulmates would never learn so you need to you need to appreciate them no matter how crazy they are or they sound whatever you need to appreciate them for for healing you know your person you know shoot send them a little gift on christmas <laughs> no i don't know i'm just fucking around you guys i'm just kidding i didn't mean it. I, that was that was a really stupid joke okay <laughs> you know let's go ahead and i want to see what comes out again for this uh the old kipper you know if there's any other because <clears throat> you know this this message kind of took a turn a little bit right took a turn and uh wanted to find out if there's maybe there's somebody else involved here other family members other situations right you know, get it while the getting's good, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so let's find out what comes. Let me get three cards. Let me get three cards. See if anything else is going on here. What? 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 Something flipped. Ooh, ooh, look, you guys. <laughs> gift, right? Somebody is getting ready to give a gift. What kind of gift? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dude, courtship. <laughs> what is the final card? What is the final card? Oh my God, we got high honor. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this back. Look, pathway. Somebody is carving out their pathway, getting ready to make the move. Somebody's bringing a gift. Hello, I have a gift for you, my friend. I would like you to be courtship with me because I see you as high honor. You see that shit? That is so nice. <laughs> Look, family room. Somebody may have even discussed it with the family. <clears throat> and you know what? Whether they liked it or not, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Yes. So we're going to pick these up. And I'm just going to do one real quick, real quick, one more, right? I, I, I want to find out what is the high honor all about please just you know you guys real quick <laughs> what is the high honor all about right 
And I'll just uh, be a nosy in somebody's, because you know, this one sounds like a good story, right? To me, it does. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to find out about that high honor. What is the high honor all about? This courtship and high honor, right? The gift, courtship, and high honor. Gift, courtship, and high honor. Gift, court, look at that, look at that. The Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Oh, no, gift, courtship, high honors. With somebody who possibly they thought it was a missed opportunity? I don't know. <sighs> gift, courtship, high honors, right? Tell us about that gift, courtship, and high honors, please. Gift, courtship, and high honors. One. <clears throat> Two, three, four. Gift, courtship, and high honors. Yes, I can do this. <laughs> And then gift courtship and high honors, please, right? Gift courtship and high honors. Let's see what all this is so far. <clears throat> okay, look. So we have the four of rods in the reverse. Okay, gift courtship, high honor. So somebody is going to be coming in and speaking uh, to somebody who is a soulmate, but they're not quite getting along right now. Okay, not quite getting along. 1111 card in the upright in the reverse. It's the same meaning. It's just a little lesser of a degree because somebody might be upset with their soulmate. Something like that, right? And maybe they're trying to make amends here. Now, they're trying to go to this Queen of Pentacles and say something. This is a Knight of Rods. He's a very flighty individual. This is the person who's possibly doing all the talking here, right? And this person is wanting to collaborate with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles has been very patient with this individual because this guy, you know, he's very flighty. And look, with that Four of Cups right there, did, we just, did I not just show you? Well, I think I did. <clears throat> Anyways, well, we have this Four of Cups right here. Somebody thinks that either they lost an opportunity or they're going to try and make an offer, right? Eight of Pentacles. And that offer is, this is so very contradictory. Look, this Knight of Rods has no problem collaborating with others, but for some reason they don't work on themselves, right? So this might be one of those real smart people, like they got answers to everything, but they don't use their own, take their own advice. This might be somebody like that, okay? Like they're really good at giving advice, but they don't freaking take their own advice. And so their life is in shambles and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's not funny, but you know what I mean, right? <clears throat> and then look, and we have the Knight of Coins. And, and so this person who's been very patiently waiting, this Queen of Pentacles patiently waiting for this Knight of Rods to bring in some coin because he's not helping in the household, he's going to make some sort of offer of some sort, but I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work out. You know, let's see. We have the, the uh, King of Cups here, okay? So he might be that King of Cups. He, we might be dealing with a uh, water sign individual and a uh, earth sign individual, right? And, you know, the Queen of, of, of Pentacles, she's very uh, generous. She's possibly been supporting this individual because that's how she is. You know what I'm saying? And he is in this King of Cups energy, very loving and nurturing. But after a while, the loving and nurturing gets old when there's no, when you need help with the bills. Right? And that's where this Queen of Pentacles is kind of, you know, looking sideways at this, uh, King of Cups. And so somebody here, I don't know which one, but somebody here is going to leave this situation because it's toxic and they're going towards a situation that's not toxic like this. So <clears throat> the, the relationship between this Queen of Pentacles and this Knight of, of uh, Rods right here, it's very toxic anyways. So somebody is, I'm sorry, this Queen of Pentacles and this King of of cups right it's very toxic anyways uh, I feel like this person is just gonna let this go as a missed opportunity and they're gonna leave this toxic situation for a situation 
that's not as toxic, right? Yeah, that's the destiny. That's what's supposed to happen. Look, Wheel of Fortune and somebody waiting and they're going to get that Ten of Cups when they leave, right? They're going to get on that chariot. They're going to uh, be, they're going to take def offense or defensiveness over what's happening, right? They're going to, you know what, there's the moon. There's some lies, but there's going to be justice. And there's going to be a marriage uh, with this Nine of Pentacles lady. Holy sh... You guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. Should I do another Kipper? No, 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 no. <clears throat> I don't want to, you know, the story's already crazy, right? A little bit. It's such a, like a drama, you know, and we all just sitting home watching tarot card readings, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, so somebody's going to be leaving a situation that's toxic. Why? Because there's a lot of backstabbing energy over there anyway. You don't want to hang out with that shit, right? Nah. Let's see what these, these are the um, angels and ancestors uh, oracle, like, you know, uh, they're all right. They're, what, is that what it's called? Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards, yeah. So let's find out what this is all about, right? Angels and Ancestors Oracles. Let's just see how, I mean, randomly how many fly out. It doesn't matter, right? It's just whatever feels good, right? What do we have here for this nature read, which is timeless, which whenever somebody sees it is when it's meant for them, right? Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Okay. Okay, that's a whole bunch, but we're going to see them all. Okay, no specific order, right? Some nice messages. It's a big hefty deck, too, you know, I mean. So let's just get them all up. Got a lots and lots of messages here, right? Okay, stag, trust and thrive, okay? So, you know, you're going to have to trust your gut feelings. That's what this stag is for, right? Trust your intuition. You know, the stags, that's what they do. Just don't be caught like deer in headlights, though, right? When the situation comes about, try to step back. Close your eyes. No, I'm just kidding. Step back and take a breath, you know, and 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 come back. Uh, um, you know, tell whoever can I can I please have a moment to to take a breath, something like that, right? Um, <clears throat> use your intuition on this. Don't make any rash decisions, right? Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Okay, that could be for that King of Cups right there. Time to connect with your emotions. Okay. And uh, maybe you've been confusing your emotions with passions and lusts and things. So maybe you're going to have to uh, evaluate that too. Sage, be devoted and committed. Uh, maybe you are deciding also, Mr. King of Cups, who shared a lot of passions, that you want devotion and you want commitment, right? Maybe you're with somebody, but that person isn't like, uh, you know, they step out of the relationship. It's like open relationship. Maybe that's not what you want, right? People do change sometimes when they get married too. I will let you know about that. I have a friend I've seen this happen a couple of friends plenty of times where they're they get married and everything's cool but then a, you know a little time later they're both kind of growing off into another direction you know they didn't give it get much enough time to each other to really get to know each other you know anyways we have the sun enjoy success and happiness so I do see some success and happiness coming your way Oracle wait for important information for me, this is like um, kind of temperancy cardish. You know, just be patient, go with the flow, let the universe handle things, and just go about your daily routine of healing and and learning about yourself and loving yourself, and everything should be okay. Mirror guardian, time to reflect, and most likely, if you are in solitude, take that time to reflect on the things that have happened in your life and the things you have to be grateful for. Right. <clears throat> peacekeeper let go of the need to be right okay and maybe during this time of solitude or time to yourself where you're going to find happiness within yourself you'll be able to uh you know let go and let let things go for a change you know just let it go don't dwell on things too much because then you start to get down about it and overthink things and 
you don't want to, you know, you don't need to be right. You don't need to, you know, let someone else be right for a change, even when they're wrong, you know, just to, you know, ease the, the tension, right? Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted. Okay, maybe that's a sign for you to go out and to get some Mother Nature, breathe some of that fresh air, you know, get the energy from the Earth. Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Right, maybe there's somebody out there you know who wants to love you and you're not allowing it possibly. Drum, dream, and journey. Maybe there is some uh, dream state uh, traveling, uh, communication through dreams. That might be you doing that or somebody else doing that to you. Protection guardian, drop your shields. Okay, somebody's got a guarded heart. It's time to trust again, right? <clears throat> because you're protected. You have your guardian angels around you protecting you. Look, high priest intend and create so maybe you've been thinking about a new project and you want to get it started and you were you know you have the intention now all you have to do is create and whatever is coming into your mind right now is something that you know you're it's going to come from your intuition high priest and that's telling me that you should go for it because this is an intuition or a message from the universe they're trying to show tell you that this is uh something that you should be working on okay Something that, that you do that you love to do, though, right? <clears throat> magic guardian, unlock the magic within. Yeah, see, did I not just say? So, yeah, there's a gift that you haven't gifted something from the universe already. And this is going to come to you. This is something you love to do already, though. You already like to do it. You just do it as a side thing because it's fun, right? No, 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 no. That's not what it's there for. It's there for you to make a living off of it. That is... The thing, that's the thing that you've been gifting, that thing you do so well. That's what you've been gifted in order to make a living off of it, right? Air guardian, shift your perception. Yeah, maybe you were thinking like, oh, this is just a hobby. No, no, no. Uh-uh, this is not just a hobby. This is your life. This is what's going to bring in, you know, your finances. And that's what the universe is trying to tell you right here. Mountains, stand your ground. Yeah, maybe some of those people too even, maybe you have known that this is a good idea. And people are saying, Oh, uh, it's not going to work. That's so dumb. That's a dumb idea. That'll never, you know, no, don't listen to those fools. This, that's them trying to prevent you from success. Yeah, that's what that is. And finally, fire garden, ignite your passions. Yeah, see, if you're passionate about something, go for it. Don't allow anybody to tell you all kinds of craziness. It's not going to work. It's not good. For, you know, screw them. <laughs> it's okay, you guys. You just, you know what? Let, tell them, well, let me learn then. You know what I'm saying? If it's not going to work, then let me learn to fail, right? Because then that, that's, you know, then if you do, you know, then you can, you can see where it's, you know, this, the problem went wrong and then you fix it. That's why we need failure. We need defeat in our life in order to make things better. If we didn't have it, how could we all improve ourselves? You know what I'm saying? It's necessary to have failure and defeat. We need it. We need that balance. Right? People hate that. Oh, I hate to I hate to lose. I hate defeat. I hate failure. I do too, you know, but it, it, don't let it eat you up inside. We need that shit in order to improve ourselves. Come on now, you all should know this already. Why do I feel like I'm telling you all this the first for the first time like you've never heard that before? Anyways. <laughs> Nature read, right? <laughs> so, okay, you guys, that's what I have for you. Um, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. All right. Also, um, it's good for your karma points. Yeah, karma points from the universe, right? Um, also, uh, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. Uh, yeah, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time.